The life of a male lion is far from what you would expect from a luxurious life of a king. You see, lions not only have to battle the harsh elements of the African savanna, but they also have to deal with massive creatures like this 2,000-pound hippo, not to be mistaken for your mom. They also need to protect their family jewels from the infamous ball-biting honey badger, something they often have to learn the hard way. So despite being named the king of the jungle, lions are still at the mercy of nature and live a life of constant uncertainty when nothing is handed to them. Even the seemingly simple task of finding food can prove to be life-threatening indeed. Now let's explore the life of a male lion from its early stages and delve into the countless ways they can encounter danger. Spoiler alert, it gets pretty depressing and brutal towards the end. The life of a male lion starts here, in the comfort of its mother's paws, where it will enjoy a fairly safe and calm life for the next two years. These two years are essential because this is when they learn the most basic survival skills that will carry them through the next challenging phase of life. At around three years old, the lion is now an adolescent and is starting to learn more complex hunting tactics through play and observation. This is also when the lion begins to become more independent from its mother and siblings, marking the last time they get to live such a carefree life. When they turn four years old, they enter what they call the nomadic phase, and this is when the more brutal aspects of a lion's life begin. What's sad is the fact that this nomadic phase is usually not by choice, as they are often forced to leave their birth pride by the dominant male, who also happens to sometimes be their very own father. Not all are that lucky though. You see, some get instantly unsubscribed from life by the dominant male. The reason for this is that from this point forward, they are just viewed as potential competition and not really family. At this stage of their life, the evicted lions often form small groups with other male lions in the same nomadic phase of life, kinda like how incels flock to echo chambers on Twitter to feel safe and get a sense of power. But unlike those keyboard warriors, these lions are actual warriors. And this is when the game of survival really kicks into high gear. These lions now need to seek out opportunities to establish their own territory as fast as possible. If not, there might not be any places left for them to go. During this phase, they are highly exposed. Even smaller predators like hyenas can prove to be a real danger. Usually, hyenas will lurk in the background, waiting for the lions to finish eating before they take the leftovers. However, these smaller, less experienced lions are easy targets for the hyenas. Many lions have their meals stolen by them, which often either leads to starvation or fatal injuries from trying to defend their meal against these large groups of hyenas. The lions also have very little experience about their surroundings and might not fully grasp the dangers of certain animals or situations. Even a simple ordeal like crossing a river might be a life-threatening choice. Now they are around four to six years old and the ones that have not been taken out by other dominant males, injured by hyenas, crocodiles, hippos, acquired parasites, been bitten by venomous snakes, gotten diseases, suffered from starvation, or injuries from larger prey, should have finally established a territory of their own. Now the chances for this are as slim as an influencer going through a successful online career without getting cancelled once. During these years, it's essential that they successfully defend their territory from other prides, and they should also try to take over other prides with females, acquiring potential mating rights. Very few male lions make it to an adult age of around 6 to 12 years old. This is when they reach their peak physical form, and since they are still alive, they more than likely have been successful in defending their territory, building a decently large pride and securing mating rights. Just like when they were only cubs, they are once again fairly safe inside the pride's protection. Well, they aren't really safe, as it is very common for prides to go to war against other prides, and it's the males who have to be at the front lines defending their family and territory, which can lead to brutal battles. Even the smallest of injuries could potentially be life-ending, as it could be infected, or other males in the pride might use this weakness to take the crown from the dominant male, replacing him and securing mating rights. But other than that, the dominant male truly lives the life as a king. It doesn't even hunt, as it's usually the females that bring home the dinner, while the male stays ready for battle. At 12 plus years old, they start to see a significant decline in their physical prowess and it pretty much just goes downhill from here. They will either be overthrown by other stronger males, which could even be their own children, truly humiliating indeed. If they are lucky, they don't survive the whole overthrowing part because if not, they are basically banned from the pride. What's more sad is that the banished former majestic and proud dominant male will then just follow the pride around from a distance, eat leftovers and spectate his wives with another man. Eventually, the strain will become too great and they will succumb to starvation salvation other predators, or natural disasters. Now, there are some exceptions, of course. Some dominant males have been seen holding their place as pride leaders all the way until death by old age at around 14 years old, but that's truly a rare occasion. 